Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Workshop Wednesdays, a very special edition of Workshop Wednesday. We only have a couple of weeks until Christmas and all the holidays surrounding it. So if you're looking for a last minute gift idea, I thought I would throw out some ideas for you of stuff that I use either in the wood yard or in the workshop that I find very useful. And uh, the price ranges are gonna be all over the place. Um, so you'll have plenty of, of different price points to choose from and different ideas, depending on what your special someone does or who, you know, if you just need an idea, maybe we'll hit, hit the nail on the head for you. Anyway, I want to say before we start that all of these products, I am not affiliated with the companies at all. I have no sponsorships. So the only motivation I have for telling you about these is because I like the product. So let's start off with the first one. Here we go. First product, first idea is a Coleman two gallon party stacker beverage cooler. Now I use this all the time filling it with water and I keep it down at the barns or I keep it in the back of my truck if I'm working off site. It is fantastic for keeping water in. I don't know about other beverages. I assume you'd have to wash it out a lot, but I like to leave water in this. It seals very well and it stays extremely clean. No bugs, no nothing in it. it, it uh, I've never even washed this. All I keep is water in it. So, I love having it because my wife is always telling me I'm working out there and I need to drink more water. So I keep some uh, disposable cups around and that's all I need. Fill it with water, get your, get your hydration. So first idea, it's around $30, give or take, depending on where you look. And there's all different kinds of brands of this. You can get them even with the, the cup holder on the side that you pull the little cups out of. You can Google it and check it out. Uh, but a thermos or beverage cooler, something to keep drinks in for when you're out there working around and you need water and you just don't have it. Next, I wanna show you something that I use constantly, whether it's out in the field or right here in my workshop. As a matter of fact, I like to keep it in the workshop because that's where I do most of my chainsaw sharpening. The steel two-in-one chainsaw sharpener. This thing retails for around $50 and let me tell you something, I love it. It really takes the guesswork or the skill, it really takes the skill out of having to, you know, you watch Buck and Billy Ray, you watch him hand file a, a chainsaw, that guy knows, I mean, he's been doing it all his life. But if you wanna sharpen your chainsaw and you like hand filing, but you may not have the finesse, you can take the years that it takes to learn or you can use this. This really, I mean, it sets the depth of your, um, rakers and it, it, it's got the right angle for you. It, it helps you, you know, it even has pictures on it here to show you uh, which direction you're supposed to hold the chainsaw, uh, hold it in relation to the chainsaw. So anyway, it's, it's really a no brainer as long as you can hold it level and hold it at the right angle. Just sharpen it, sharpen it up and, and it does a great job. I really, really like it. And you can replace the files inside with different size files. Um, or if the file wears out. So anyway, the steel two-in-one chainsaw sharpener. 50 bucks on Amazon, I'll leave you a link. Uh, it's, it's really, I mean, I'm very impressed with it. Now, if you don't like that, I would say at least get him or her a file set. Uh, this is an Oregon file set. These things, you don't have to buy Oregon, you can buy all kinds of different sets. They range anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks or, or, or more, depending on what you wanna how much you want to spend, but I had it upside down. There you go, that's better. Anyway, so this one I have, uh, it's also very nice to have a couple of these. Keep one in your uh, tool set that you take with you in the field and keep one in the workshop where you might uh, you know, prep your saws before you go out. So anyway, chainsaw sharpeners, very handy. In keeping with the chainsaw theme, I thought I would bring up the next product, which I really like. And once again, no affiliation to them whatsoever. I just really like this product. If you need to buck up logs and you need something to hold them, uh, such as a sawhorse or, or, or what have you, this is called a jaw boss. Now this is absolutely <laughs> built to last forever. Uh, these points are super sharp and it holds the log in the end. Now it says it'll take from a two inch log, which even if it's less than two inches, you just, you fit it down here in between there and it still holds it. But anyway, from two inches to nine inches, and I can tell you from personal experience that I have put 
bigger than nine inch logs in this thing and it holds them great. Now how it works is you insert this into a two inch receiver, be it on the back of your tractor or on the back of your uh, ATV or side by side or even on the back of your pickup truck. And when that's in the, the receiver, it sticks out and you can just stick the end of the log right in there and holds it just as firm as, I mean, you can, it's, it's really, really sturdy. Um, you're not gonna bend these teeth. Like I say, I have used this for years and I've certainly uh, uh, put it through its tests. Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm really thrilled with this product. I saw it on tiedown.com is, is the name of the company, I guess. Um, there, it says on here jawboss.com, but that's not where I found it. They must have changed the company name or something. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description. It's around $112 plus shipping, but it is, if you're, if you're cutting up logs, this sucker is really a handy tool. So jawboss. Now, while the jaw boss might be something that I love to keep in the truck, I can just throw in the truck, I use it in the wood yard, but it's, it's very portable. It's easy to take with me to a job site or, or wherever I might be using it. What I do like to keep in the wood yard at all times is this. This is a logging sawhorse. Now, I cannot find this anymore. Um, I think they've improved it, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I, I did do some searching and I, I couldn't find it. But the way it works is you stick the log in here and these uh, pointy teeth, hold the log in place, pretty much the same as the jaw boss does. This will not hold as large of a log as the jaw boss will. You can fit a nine inch log or more in here, but uh, you'll end up bending these teeth. I've bent them back several times. Uh, so maybe that's why they've improved on it, but it is very handy and I do enjoy using it. This is also gonna run you somewhere around a hundred dollars. You can, you, can, you can Google them and, and see there, there's a range there, but uh, you know, you're gonna get what you pay for. Check the reviews. Anyway, I use this all the time and I really like it, uh, especially since I cut up all those small branches for my dad. He likes those, those for, for burning. Um, I use this all the time for anything you know, small like that. So anyway, logging sawhorse. This next item, I'm almost afraid to share it with you because I fell in love with these things and then they disappeared. I was able to order them on Amazon and then all of a sudden they were no more and I couldn't find them until I found them at Harbor Freight. Ranger Comfort Knee Pads. These things are the best knee pads I have found. Now, these are just general knee pads. These are not like, you know, hard plastic. There's, they're not bulletproof. You know, a nail will go through these, but those hard plastic ones, and I have a set of those. Here, just a second. I have a set of these, they're called no cry knee pads and, and they're definitely good knee pads. They're, they're good for um, what they need to be, but they slip and they fall down and they, you know, you're constantly adjusting them and they, you know, they just, they're just not comfortable. They're, they're, they're necessary sometimes, but they're not comfortable. These are super comfortable. I forget I'm even wearing them and that's the whole point. I put them on before I start working and I don't even think about it. And I'm saving my jeans, I'm saving my knees, my old 51 year old knees. Anyway, they're great. These are only $10 at Harbor Freight. Like I say, I kind of, you guys are gonna buy them all up and they're gonna be gone. I, I, I have a few spares. <laughs> I found them and I just bought a bunch. Anyway, uh, really, really great knee pads. I love these things. You know, just me talking. I'm not affiliated with Harbor Freight, so. Try them if you, if you like them, let me know. And they're, you know, stocking stuffer, 10 bucks. So again, in the range of the $50 gift, this is an absolute must have, but I hope I never use it. First aid kit. I love to have a first aid kit near me because I had an accident where I dropped a small pocket knife on my foot. You can go back, there's a video about it where I bought this. And if you don't have the right first aid around, it's gonna, you have to have the right first aid, come on. I mean, and what's nice about this, okay, if I open this up, everything is labeled and it's in clear compartments so you can see what you're getting at. You know what it is, it has a tourniquet, which would be worst case scenario, but you're working with chainsaws, working with any type of heavy equipment, you never know. I hope I never use it, so I can't tell you how good it is. Now here's something that might not look fun 
but I'm super jazzed about it. I really, really like this product and I don't know how I would split wood without it anymore. My canvas apron. This thing is an absolute must when I'm working back there and it would just want to destroy my clothes. I'm right up against machinery with oil and grease and all the logs and bugs and stuff and slime that, that, that are all over it, the dirt, the grime, the, and it just wears on your clothes. This thing is tough as nails. I've never even washed it. You just put it on and it saves your clothes. It saves your clothes. It saves you too. It is, it is really, a fantastic apron canvas. Like I say, it's sturdy as ever. And I, I just, like you can tell, I, I really am glad I bought this thing. It has helped me a ton when I'm working in the wood yard. It's around $35. I'll leave a link in the description uh, uh, along with all the other links. And uh, hey, there's others like it, but the, the one that I'm holding right here, you know, I'm just, the way it's built, rivets, everything. Yeah, grommets. Just really, really well-made apron. Like I say, it's not a super exciting gift, but for me, I just fell in love with it. So, apron. There's the next item on your list. How about that? <laughs> yeah, this is a propane torch. It's actually called a weed burner. And the reason it's called a weed burner is because it burns the crap out of weeds. Um, you light this sucker up and you hang it down and it's actually kind of fun to burn the weeds from the sidewalk or around the driveway, uh, anything that's creeping up through any of that concrete around your house, this thing makes it fun to kill weeds. And it's great for starting fires. It's simple, open it up, hit the igniter, boom, you got flame and it's hot, very hot. So anyway, it's a propane torch. Now, if you don't want something this big and you just want something that's uh, handy dandy to keep in your toolbox, let me show you this. There you go, how about that? Little tiny guy. Yeah, this is very handy. Keep this in your uh, toolbox or you know maybe somewhere safe. I don't know where it should be stored. But uh, this is a, just a little handy dandy butane um, torch and you fill it from the bottom down there and then you just light it up. You, just like any other one, you just turn it on. I usually give it a shake and then boom, you got flame. Very hot, very handy for starting fires. And it's also very handy for uh, cutting through um, geotextile fabric, uh, weed block, if you will, any type of that, that, that plasticky fabric, rather than trying to get through it with scissors, you just melt it, works great. Anyway, uh, this one runs around $21 on Amazon and the other weed burner runs around $35. And I'll leave the links, of course. So for the last couple items on my list, we're gonna have to head outside because these are specific to tractor owners. So let's go. Now on Facebook, I'm on a uh, Kubota BX Owners Facebook group and people are always talking about these. These are mirrors that you can mount right onto your tractor, right on the side. Now, it doesn't all come like this, okay? I'll leave the links in the description for both of these parts. This is a golf cart mirror and you mount it with magnets. So you put these magnets on. Now the whole kit together, if you buy both, both parts, ran, runs around 30 bucks. So you buy the mirrors, and then uh, you buy the magnets and the total for all of it runs around $30. But like I was saying, you mount the mirror onto these magnets and then you can just take it and stick it wherever you want on your tractor. Anywhere that there's a blind spot, you can put that mirror and it does help. It, uh, I use them every once in a while, but the nice thing is I can take them off if I don't want them. So anyway, mirrors, $30, pretty good gift. Now, ever since I did the $54 tractor cab video, I get asked all the time when people watch that video, it's one of my most popular videos, what kind of sunshade do I have? Well, my wife got me that, and the, she got it off of Amazon, but they don't carry it anymore. So I'll give you the link to the uh, website, cozycab.com, I believe it is. Anyway, it's a Cozy Cab sunshade, and this is gonna be the most expensive ticket, uh, highest ticket item on my list here today. And we'll end with that. It is uh, around 150 bucks plus shipping, okay? So I love it though. It's simple, it works, um, and I can mount the, uh, the golf cart uh, cover over top of it to keep me out of the rain, which is starting to drizzle right now. Anyway, hopefully 
One of these items on this list will get you out of the doghouse and save you in time for Christmas to get it ordered and get it in the stocking for whoever you might want to give it to. I appreciate you tuning in for this Workshop Wednesday. Merry Christmas. I hope every one of you has a wonderful holiday and uh, we'll see you on Saturday when I'm doing more stuff. How is this? It's really bright. So if I'm doing stuff and I'm working on it and with it, everything here wants brand. Uh, nope. Good idea. And shoot, I was going to look up the price. These days, this week, we've got a couple of days, a couple of days, heck, a couple of weeks. We should probably say it the right way. If you need to buck logs, and I should have looked to see what size logs. This is a tree. This is not a tree. Powerful, very hot. Um, Coleman, no, it's not Coleman. It's not, the brand isn't Coleman. This is a propane torch. Um, this is uh, rather cheap. I didn't look up the price, so I should do that over. Leave a comment in the links below, or leave a comment below if you uh, enjoyed this. I'm really starting. To